Virgo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He's up at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we're going to be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, what we can see here straight off the bat is that you've received a download to have an intentional focus. Now, we feel like this focus is to heal any a relationship in your life. Whether it be plutonic or romantic, this is what is necessary in order for the energy to kind of start shift. So this is kind of the... the journey that you're on right now is to um, heal a relationship in your life. You know, intention alone is enough. So intention, and then of course the actions to pair the intention, and that's all it takes. So we're going to go through um, how it first works is this. We realize what we want to put our focus into, right? That two of pentacles is all about deliberately putting energy into something that is what you would like to see for your tomorrow, right? So the energy of today creates our tomorrow. So when you have an intention and your actions align with your intention, you create your tomorrow. Is it always going to be clear? No. Is it always going to seem like you're on the right track? No. Are you going to feel overwhelmed and, and lack of confidence at times? Yes. Part of the journey. That's why we always say have a daily meditation practice because meditation connects you to the spirit realm and the spirit realm is guiding you and when we're connected to the spirit realm or to the source, we have this feeling like everything's okay even when it doesn't look like it's okay. You know. So at the end of the day, when you are feeling controlling, when you are feeling serious, when you're feeling a lack of stability, what's going to happen is you're going to feel this wobble, uncertainty. One foot in, one foot out. Maybe this, maybe that. But, well, what if this, talking yourself into things? All this does, it, it produces a lot of energy. It produces a lot of choices. But those choices generally aren't our truth. It's just a lot of wobble, and then we're allowing in a lot of wobble. Maybe this, maybe that, right? And then we feel really overwhelmed. When we feel overwhelmed, we go into a nostalgic, limiting belief kind of energy. So we're thinking a lot of limiting beliefs. We're reflecting on the past. We're, we're, we're putting ourselves in an even worse energy. And then we create imbalances. But the universe and the spirits want to remind you to be patient with this temperance card. Be patient because things are coming to fruition. And you are going to be, once you go through this, because this is kind of the emotional phases of like a, a spiritual chapter, right? We all go through different chapters. You initially have the impulse to do something. You move forward with it. We're emotional. We're excited. We don't know what's right, what's wrong. So we're saying yes to everything. We're doing all these things, right? It becomes overwhelming at first. We even are so overwhelmed allowing in all these different choices we could make that we end up reflecting in the past of, well, maybe if I had just done this, well, maybe this is the right thing. It feels very confusing because we think that we're on track some days and then other tracks, it feels like we're totally off. You know, on other days, it feels like we're totally off track. And so the universe just wants to remind you that just focus on balancing life. So having a nice, healthy balance. And that really means that you know, if something ever, if you ever feel like you're overdoing it in some aspect, right, you're overworking and then you're, say you're neglecting something you know you have to do, that's going to be when there's imbalances. If you know you have to move every day, like exercise, get a little exercise in, get a little meditation in every day, you know, you got to go to work, take care of the family, have food, clean, that's going to be delegated, uh, you know, energetically accordingly. And so if you're feeling like you need something to be okay and you only put attention into that need, there's going to be imbalances. So just focus on having a balanced, synergistic aligned uh, life and that will help get through this push. But you are going to go through this push, okay, this, this final push. And that's going to be when things are going to... Um, Things are going to start to feel better very soon here, Virgo. Okay, things are going to start to feel better here. Again, the name of the game is to... Ooh, look at this. Isn't this sweet? The name of the game is to not let the wobble consume you, okay? With that seven of cups, two of them coming in reverse here. And that's when we... So when you've acquired a lot of data, you've said yes to a journey and you've done a lot of studying, learned a lot 
whatever it may be, right? You've just absorbed a lot of data. There's got to be a moment when you have a let go, where you go out in nature, you do things differently. Maybe you have a meditation day, but you let go intentionally. And what that will do is it will allow you to process and feel more clear in everything that you have learned. And then that way, you know, you're able to process, again, just process all the experiences that you've gone through. Now, what we can see here is that there is going to be a huge transformation coming in again with this relationship, because here we have the judgment and the 10 of pentacles. And this is stability. This is a calling. This is a moment of awakening and awareness, right? So either way, whether it's a relationship that you're looking for, there's going to be this aha moment of maybe the person that you want to have in your life. Maybe someone's going to enter your life and it's like, you've been waiting for them. This is like, have been your calling, right? Maybe you're going to meet them at work or you are going to meet somebody that is in the same um, workspace that you are. So maybe you're in the process of building something for yourself and then you're going to meet somebody. Perhaps you're the, you know, the energy of the energy needs to be basically cleared right now in order for you to see clearly. Um, so the name of the game is to always stay in uh, your power mode, right? Always stay in your full power. Now, that means that whenever we are feeling really wobbly and uncertain in our thoughts, we have to reclaim our power by connecting to a source that allows us to feel like us. And that could be nature, that could be exercise, that could be... Um, you, you'll have to DIY this. This is not, we're not all the same, obviously. So it's going to have to be something that um, you've already practiced. It's not something that's like on a whim. Like, you know, it's, it's something that makes you feel um, like you let go. Maybe it is um, getting creative in the kitchen and making some sweet treats, right? Maybe it is going camping even and going outside, sitting around a fire, but it is going to be maybe perhaps making food and creating fun things is a great way for you to connect to uh, yourself and to um, a part of you that lights you up. I know for me that is when I'm in the kitchen and I'm getting creative, it's so much fun, especially when I'm creating out of ingredients that actually work for my avatar, then it's even more fun. It's more rewarding. It's satisfying. So you see, we got to always have uh, times that we pivot into. By the way, this is what's coming through here, Virgo. If you are in a relationship and you're one, you might have this idea, this epiphany, because the thing is, remember, right? If you're in a relationship and you guys do something together, you cook together, you know, if you do things together, like my husband and I, we try to do everything together now. We clean the house together. We cook together. We, um, we, we, we film at the same time. We, we pretty much do everything at the same time together because it's two energies that are working towards the same outcome. It's way more powerful. It's way more magnetic and energetically you bond. So it's a really a nice thing. If you, and if you're wondering what you could do, you and your partner could do together that would produce more money that you could earn more money. Perhaps maybe it has something to do with being in the kitchen and making, making food together, or maybe, you know, and you could record it, you could go on YouTube. Maybe it could be like a special thing you guys do, or like, you know, you're good at it. I don't know, just saying that's coming up, but always know that anytime you do something together uh, with the same intention, it, it just breeds results so much faster because you're in the flow. There's two of you. There's, it, whenever confusion is present, it's generally because we're not actually connecting to our partners and we're not coming together. So this temperance card of balance of the yin and the yang energy, the male and the feminine energy, when two people have come together, there's usually one there's usually a male and a feminine energy, depending, it doesn't matter on gender, it's just an energy thing, right? And the male energy is more action, the female energy is creative and connected. And so the two coming together has this beautiful harmonious energy to really move forward in life and to really make things unfold much, much quicker. So what I would say to you is that if you are in a relationship right now, unit up, like it will be the best thing you ever do is just unit up and do start doing everything together. And that might be a little bit of a process. You know, it's just about taking it one day of a, at a time. If you, where you are right now is completely disconnected to come together would be, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take some time, a couple years, but as long as the intention's there, it's going to come right. But, but do trust again, at the end of the day, you're going to get to where you go, want to go, take it one day at a time. And anything that you're holding inside of you that is, is not allowing you to forgive, let that go. Any shame, any guilt, any actions, let it all go. 
because it won't serve you in the long run, right? So if, maybe if you share your life with somebody and you want to become a partnership, but it just feels like there's a lot of, you know, hurt. There's been a lot of experiences that have bred a lot of hurt. You know, at the end of the day, that can all be healed. And it's just about transmuting any limiting belief into a state of love. And that really is how we say, stay in full power, by the way, is sending love to any time we are in a circumstance or a situation, especially with a person that we care about, to start sending them love instead of practicing limiting beliefs or practicing seeing their faults. That is really because you're used to practicing seeing your faults. So then you see faults. Whatever you criticize to somebody or whatever, whenever you find yourself criticizing, use that as an opportunity to, to shine that mirror up and look at yourself and ask, what have I been criticizing myself with? And the minute that you start to transmute how you talk to yourself, you start to realize that you're going to see things differently in your outer world too. And then the relationships you have grow stronger. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.